America. What I'd like to have right now is for all you fat, out of shape, Springfield sweat hogs, keep the noise down while I take my robot. This is what a real sexy man is supposed to look like, huh? Hi guys, and welcome to Traveling with Autism. We're here at this beautiful green lawn cemetery here in Atlanta, Georgia. And April the 20th, 1999. It was a very sad day of professional wrestling. It's the day that we lost one of the greatest professional wrestlers that ever graced us with his body and with his soul. And that is the late, great Richard Rick Rude. Rick was born in December the 7th, 1958. Went to college at a wonderful college in Minnesota. Best friends with Mr. Perfect Kurt Henry. And I remember the day that Mr. Uh, Kurt died. They paid a tribute to him on WCW Nitro and it literally tore Kurt apart. And I got emotional. I grew up watching this stuff ever since I was a little kid. I remember Rick back in the NWA days coming all the way up to WCW days. I remember the night that he made his appearance on WCW and WWE in the very first night together. Never been done in the history. Never. Two companies one night. Guys, as you know, back then WWE was pre-taped and WCW Nitro was live. And he came out with the debut of the NWO and it was, it was history. Rick was glad to be back in professional wrestling after so many years off with his injuries. He got that big settlement payout from Lloyd's of, Lloyd's of London and Eric Bischoff just refused he couldn't pay it. Ted Turner and WCW just could not afford to repay Rick's salary. Lloyd's of London contract. So Rick had to find work elsewhere. That's when he went to Bruce Pritchard in WWE and, and you know they worked out a contract, but he come in with Degeneration X, and they did not sign him to a long-term contract, so he basically gave him the shaft and went to WCW on a bigger contract. Rick was a family man. He loved his family, had wonderful kids, wonderful life. But his life was professional wrestling. I remember I grew up in a little town of Augusta, Georgia, and Rick always came to Augusta. And he always said that line at the beginning of every night. Hello, ladies. And that's the way I want to end it. Hello, Rick. Goodbye, Rick. We love you. We miss you. It's been 22 years since you left us. And you'll never be forgotten. If you like our page, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.